Hello and welcome. Today I will explain the basic operations of computer. Basic operations means the main functions that a computer do. The main functions are input, processing, output and storage. These are the four basic or you can say the major operations of our computer system. First of all computer takes input from the input devices that may be a keyboard or mouse. For further processing which is done by the CPU. CPU access the input data from the storage device. After processing it gives us output. These four processes are repeated in each and every operation of the computer. Now let me explain the first basic operation of computer that is the input. Actually input refers to any data and instructions given to our computer. It may be the data entered from the keyboard or any instructions from the mouse. Input is supplied to the computer with the help of input devices like keyboard, mouse, scanner, joystick and others. So this is the first main task of computer to receive input from the input devices it is given by the user with the help of input devices like keyboard or mouse another important operation of our computer is processing processing refers to the method of converting input data to the output information it is the manipulation of letters, numbers or graphic symbols that constitutes data which is collected, captured, sifted, rearranged and sorted in a sequence for the process of converting input into the output. Processing task is done by the CPU of our computer system. Similarly storage is another important function of our computer system it refers to the saving of information for later use after processing the result is generated which we can save to our computer's hard drive for further use we can store our informations in the memory of our computer whenever for the access whenever we require Finally, let me tell you about the another important operation of computer that is output. Actually, output refers to the result of processing. Whatever the information we get after processing the input data is known as output. It may be viewed on a monitor, screen, heard through speakers or printed through printer on paper or it can be stored on the memory for the later use. I hope you have understood these main operations of our computer system. Thank you everyone.